Hello everyone, my name is Richard from Home Tech Video. This video we're going to be covering the wet, uh, watchdog feature within Blue Iris, and I'm going to show you some of the features of what you can do with this. So let's go and jump right in. So essentially what watchdog is going to do is allow you to set alerts that is going to happen if one of your cameras go offline. Or if one of your cameras go offline, you can have um, Blue Iris do a certain task, such as trying to send a reboot command to the, um, the camera, or restart the camera within Blue Iris. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you set this up. So within Blue Iris, what you need to do is go into each individual camera that you want to have this configured. You do have to do this on each camera. So I'm going to use my backdoor camera here as an example. So I'm going to go into this and right click it, go to camera properties. And then at the top right, you have the watchdog tab. In watchdog, there's two areas currently within Blue Iris. There's signal loss and periodically reconnect. Um, very quickly, what periodically reconnect is going to do is if you have this option checked, it's going to send a restart command to your camera every certain amount of time, whatever you have the value set here. So by default, it's 24 hours. So if you have a camera that periodically goes offline after being connected to Blue Iris for a certain amount of time, this will allow you to send a reboot command to that uh, camera to possibly alleviate any type of errors or any problems that you have when a camera is connected to Blue Iris for that amount of time. So you know, you can have this on there if you want. If you have it, I, I would just leave this offline or off unless you do have a problem with a camera stopping, uh, stopping to respond after, you know, being connected to Blue Iris. So the top portion here is the, uh, the main area within Watchdog. So the main, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have detect signal loss checked. This enables all of the signal loss features within the Watchdog tab. So the top area up here at the top is timeout period. What the timeout period means is how long a camera needs to be turned off for or to have a loss in signal for before it actually will trigger. So a loss in signal would be, like I said earlier, a camera having a power outage or if it's rebooting or being unplugged, something like that. Basically, it's Blue Iris no longer detects signal from that camera. So in this example, a timeout period is set to 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, I'm going to have all of these other options unchecked here. So after 30, after 30 seconds, I'm going to have a trigger alert happen. So I'm going to set this to one timeout. So basically what this means is if a camera, any of my cameras go offline, well, this particular one, because I'm on the backdoor camera. If this camera goes offline for more than 30 seconds, it's going to trigger an alert. So what the alerts and how you set this up is you go into the configure watchdog alerts, or if you're just in the, you know, browsing through each tab, you can go into alerts under the profile. There's an actual watchdog profile under alerts. So the action, this is what you can do and make um, a specific thing happen when the camera goes offline. So one thing that I would recommend doing is something like as simple as sending a SMS message and go in here and configure a message sent to your phone if the watchdog gets triggered. So in other words, if this camera goes offline for more than 30 seconds, it's going to send me a text message simply saying your camera has gone offline. Or you can do other things such as if you want to get into some more advanced features as like setting um, a uh, program or ex executing a script or making an alarm sound on your PC. So you can have like a ding or something like that that happens. Um, but going back into the watchdog tab, there's a couple of other features in here that you can also do. So if your camera supports it, you can send a reboot command after a certain amount of timeouts. So every 30 seconds is considered a timeout. After five timeout periods, it'll send a reboot command to the camera, if possible. Not all cameras support this feature. You can leave it checked. If it's not supported, then it just won't happen. Also, you have the restart camera window after a certain amount of timeouts as well. So you can say after two 30 second periods of being offline, it'll send a restart command. And what a restart command is simply like if you go into your camera here, right click it, and go into restart camera. Um, the restart command does not restart the camera itself. It just only restarts it within Blue Iris. So if for whatever reason, Blue Iris is the reason that your camera goes offline and you need to restart it, you can do it this way. So the most important feature within the watchdog, like I said earlier, is the trigger alerts. If you have a trigger alert set, you can have it set at you a text message if the camera goes offline. 
So the last option for Watchdog is the continue triggering until signal is restored. What this option is going to do if you have this enabled is going to repeat the trigger until the camera comes back online. So for example, if you have this set to send you a text message every 30 seconds or um, every timeout period that you have set here. So like, so every minute, because it, this is set to two timeouts. So, and then my timeout period is 30 seconds. So two timeout periods of 30 seconds would be one minute in this example. So every minute it would send me a text message telling me that this camera is offline until the camera gets restored. If this option is unchecked, it's only gonna send me one message, one message telling me that the camera is offline. And then it's only going to resend me a message if this camera comes back online and then back offline again. Um, this is handy if you wanna have a, you know, an alarm set up or like a light flashing or some type of external trigger letting you know that a camera goes offline and it's gonna to continue to process that um, alert over and over again until the camera comes back online. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it shows you a little bit better how you can set up alerts uh, if one of your cameras go offline. So thank you all for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up and have a great day.